back. Uh, there was a technical difficulty. <laughs> so this is part two of affirm this to yourself, okay? So I left off talking about this card here, which is when I see good in others, I acknowledge it out loud. So when the video cut off, I was talking about um, allowing someone else's story or them being great in their purpose or whatever they're doing not to be jealous or not to feel uh any less than okay it's okay to acknowledge what somebody else is doing it's okay to even tell that person i think what you're doing is great it's awesome and it's very inspirational um and let that fuel you to do what you need to do and not be in this page of swords energy seething and feeling some type of way because somebody else is doing something great there's room in this world for all of us to be great we're all meant to be different to do things in different ways even if we are in the same industry you are going to put your own spin on something i'm going to put my own spin on something and there's nothing wrong with acknowledging someone that's in their purpose and they're doing a great job okay Harboring any type of resentment or any jealousy, if you allow that to propel you into your purpose, it will not be sustained because it is not for the right reasons. You are not doing it with love. You are doing it as a means to compete, to beat someone else at something. And then yours begins to be very close to what that person's is because you want to be better than them in that area. And that is not your purpose. That's their purpose. Okay, so let's see why this is coming up. Yeah, justice. Somebody <laughs> is feeling like they want to level somebody out. They want to balance some, something out. Maybe you see somebody as having a Ten of Cups and you don't like it, okay? You're, you have, This is stressing you out, okay? Don't allow someone else's Ten of Cups to stress you out. Focus on your own cups, okay? King of Cups energy emotionally stable and balanced okay why is when i see good in others i acknowledge it out loud in the reverse why is that here we got king of wands in the reverse and seven of cups in the reverse this is a jaded view and perspective okay king of wands in the reverse is a very controlling manipulative egotistical energy with the seven of cups in the reverse it's like you think you're not confused you think it's not an illusion because you are operating out of your ego okay so when you're in this energy you want to aggressively go towards whatever someone else is doing so you can be better Okay, the ego driven uh, energy and that's not what we want to do okay eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck this is what I'm talking about like whatever work you're doing you're going out here trying to be in control better than competition energy five of swords energy God is saying just if you work hard stay steadfast you're gonna build what you want on your own okay focus on what you need to you need to be doing not what somebody else is doing okay instead of taking the taking on the fear of others i reflect love okay that is the energy of fear when you fear that someone's going to be better than you that since someone is in this energy you are going to look like you appear to have less or be less okay all of that is fear-based okay i reflect love okay love of self how can you love on yourself by showing yourself i won't take my time with you any relationship you want to sustain you're not gonna rush into it okay we've all had our share of relationships that we jumped into with excitement oh this is about to work so you start doing everything and rushing past the quality of doing what you need to do learning about that person nurturing that slowly gradually okay i reflect love take that time to love on yourself step by step slowly okay 
instead of taking on the fear, the fear of being alone or the fear of this person not liking who you maybe truly are, okay? So you go above and beyond and do all this extra stuff that's not authentic because of fear. We're not operating out of fear. We're not doing that anymore, okay? I reflect love, a love of myself, the love of God, okay? And then all else will come. Why is this here, Holy Spirit? Okay, yeah. It's the star. When I start with me, start loving on myself, page of wands energy, start telling myself things, discovering things about myself, my wishes can come true as well. I can have this desired outcome as well. I can be what I'm meant to be as well. I don't have to be jealous of anybody. Don't have to feel discontent. Okay? Because God is going to pour this love out over me as well. Okay? And sometimes, oftentimes, it is not God that is presenting these opportunities for people. It's people doing things in their own esteem for their own selfish gain. And that is not going to be sustained. That That's not going to last. If it's not built the right way, the tower will come in to destroy it so that it can be built the right way. Okay, why is I communicate with ease and grace? People are willing to embrace what I have to say. It's in the reverse. Now, there's so many messages coming off of this. Number one, know that even if you communicate with ease and grace, everybody is not going to be open to hear what you have to say. Everybody's not going to embrace what you have to say. Don't do things in anticipation of what the outcome is going to be. Do this thing. If you are a speaker, communicate these messages because God is leading you to, because it is your testimony, it is your purpose, it is your desire. Okay? But don't do it with contingency plan about what people are going to say or do. You can never, you're never going to make everyone happy. Okay? Also know that there are some times that people do hear you, but they simply don't agree. Okay? That's another thing that's just going to happen. People right now, but what I'm saying, there's so many things that are going through people's heads right now. I'm an example. Another person that's doing uh, oracle work or light work, everybody's not going to agree. My perception about religious beliefs, I don't, I don't subscribe to that. I'm more of a spirituality-based person. Okay, I feel that God intends for all of us to ascend, to reach a place of self-mastery. I don't feel like uh, religion does that. Somebody might hear me, but they might not agree. Somebody might uh, create some type of industry or uh, whatever they do for work to go directly against what I'm saying. So never do anything with the intention of someone receiving it in a certain type of way. Just do what it is that God is leading you to do, okay? Now, just show me something else here. Also, God is saying, be mindful of how you are communicating what you are communicating. They're showing me a lot coming out of this bird here. Um, words have power, okay? Spell work. So, be sure that what you're saying to others and what you're saying to yourself is what is something positive, okay? It's something that you want to manifest. Do not speak negativity over yourself or others if you don't want to manifest negativity over yourself and others. Try not to bring negativity into people's worlds if that is not what you want in your world. Invest what you want to see grow in your life. Holy Spirit, why does I communicate with ease and grace in the reverse? Why is this in the reverse? Yeah, Ten of Wands. This is the energy of you're going to carry what you put out. The burdens you drop, this is what you're going to put out. Whatever you speak out is what you're going to have. Okay? Okay. 
Okay. Bottom of the deck. I just saw 10, 10. Bottom of the deck. Four of cups. Okay. Discontent. Okay. If you put, speak out, or think about this type of energy, meaning uh, nothing ever works for me. Why does this person's life look so good and mine doesn't? I'm smarter than that person. I'm better than that person. Why is my life this way? Okay. Where you can't see God trying to help you, trying to give you this cup. Then you're going to manifest these burdens because that's what you spoke out. Okay. So this is about intention speaking out what you want to see happen in your physical reality okay doing the work that you want to see bear fruits okay what are you doing anything else here holy spirit This is about the higher friend. This is about being mindful, obtaining a higher knowledge, okay? Doing the work to be able to think and speak in a way that's going to promote growth for you, that's going to promote uh, ascension, that's going to manifest something positive, okay? And not steal from you, okay? We have the. Uh, tendency to rob ourselves by what we say or what we think so God is wanting us to really be more mindful of how we operate overall okay make sure the things that we're saying and doing are in alignment with what we want to see in our reality okay what else Holy Spirit yeah God is saying take a walk away from that that energy let me see what else there is for us here. Being led to this deck. I'm hearing three. Okay. Split the deck on cycles. Okay. God is wanting us not to repeat the same cycles. Look at this. With the hammer. God is saying stop doing the same things over and over again. Expecting something different. It's going to keep ending up the same way. We The first card out here from part one was... My sexuality is sacred. Okay. We got the sun and the six of cups clarifying that. It's like God saying, okay, take a look back. Look at your choices. Illumination with the sun. Okay. What do you see? What did you do? Why do you keep engaging with the same type of people that are going to produce the same type of results you had back then? That's not what you want to do. Okay. Drop the hammer on that. Stop doing that. That's for all of us, okay? Somebody here is... Uh, I'm seeing somebody with a really brilliant idea something to do with merchandise, clothing, something like that. They're showing me fabrics, okay? Fabric or fabrication. Somebody saw somebody else's merchandise, somebody's line of clothing or whatever this is, fabric, whatever this is, and this made you just want to not do whatever you're doing. And God is saying, absolutely not. Okay, maybe it's similar to your idea. Okay, don't let that stop you. Let that inspire you to do what you're meant to do. I feel like what's going to look at this. Yes, God is saying, yes, that's true. That's what God is wanting you to do. Don't let that stop you. Okay. Maybe God is going to open up something new for you. Maybe you'll put a spin on your design that's going to add something else okay let it fuel you don't let it don't stab yourself in the back by not producing whatever you want to produce because you think that somebody else already did that okay there's endless opportunities don't let it stop you
What messages do you have, Holy Spirit? What is the message? What do you want our loved ones to know? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have clear your mental and physical clutter feel so much better okay this is all about clearing your mind cleansing your energy deep breathing journaling all the things to get all these uh, thoughts out of your mind that prevent you from growing in the way that you are meant to first card girl with a snake empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used enabling boundaries okay I feel like honestly I do not feel like this is some serpent outside of us. I feel like this is the snake that God is guiding us to shed on the inside of us. It's not always somebody on the outside of us doing something to us. Sometimes it is. But with this, I feel like a part of you is highly sensitive and a part of you is, um, I won't call you a narcissist, but a, a part of you is in this ironically just fell on top of this king of wands in reverse king of wands in the reverse it could be a narc they have a really um, strong sense of control and manipulation and power okay sometimes we manipulate ourselves or manipulate situations in a way that's not going to be beneficial to us so god is wanting us to allow that old skin to shed off of this snake energy Okay, snakes are known to stab people in the back, right? We're stabbing, we just saw stab in the back. So God is saying, don't do that to yourself. Okay, come out of this energy of uh, allowing situations or what looks better on the outside to control your narrative, your paradigm, okay? Challenges in the reverse make a decision work on inner healing okay that's what we're talking about right now okay it's in the reverse because it fell on top of this one okay sometimes it's difficult what the challenge is is something that's difficult sometimes it's difficult to see your uh, what you deem to be your wishes coming into fruition in order to be able to manifest, you have to be able to see that for you. See yourself in whatever situation you're in. So right now, with challenges in the reverse, God is saying we're about to come out of that. We're going to be able to see a challenge as inspiration in order to build or a challenging thought in our minds. We're going to allow that to fuel us so that we are able to manifest what we're meant to, to have and be in our world. Turning these challenges into wish fulfillment. Turning our uh, pain into purpose. Allowing what is going on around us. Ironically, the first video, part one of Affirm This to Yourself, when it started, it was initially a download because I turned my chair and a bunch of stuff started falling off of all these tables around me and like my phone almost hit my foot it was just like a lot but none of it hit me so I feel like and then they led me to Psalms 91 a prayer about protection that none of this will hit you okay I feel like that scripture is significant in the sense of if you remain steadfast, focused, and trust and know that God has you, all this stuff can be going on around you, okay? This person up here can be super successful in their purpose, doing their thing, okay? And instead of you watching this person, you say, wow, that person is awesome. I'm going to manifest the same thing for myself. I'm not going to allow any challenges to stop me. God is with me. I am protected. I'm about to manifest my behind off. Okay, and see myself in whatever this is. 
gain the higher knowledge that I need to gain in order to put my own spin on this and be great. Okay? Okay. Now, the last card, it was in the reverse, is honeymoon phase, attending someone's wedding. Okay? This is a, a perfect example. While this is falling right beneath the Hierophant, the Hierophant talks about commitment, divine unions, or marriage. Okay, so I'm seeing somebody here that is maybe envious of someone's wedding, envious of someone's partner or relationship or marriage. That's a common thing. Okay, but we are healing from that. We know that when it's our time, God is either going to bring that right person in for us so that we can have our own honeymoon phase. We're all in different phases and different stages in our lives. I was one of these people that wondered, what in the heck? Why do I keep getting into these connections that are uh, low vibrational and toxic? Okay? Why do I keep repeating the same cycles? Why is this card is up here about my sexuality is sacred, okay? I was unequally yoked with people. I'm not slamming anybody. This is just how it works. I wasn't allowing God to bring in for me what was meant for me. I simply wanted to be connected because everybody else was connected. Or I, I thought in some cases this was my person. It did not turn out to be my person, okay? So I wonder, everybody else is getting this honeymoon energy what about me god and then god explained to me like you are you have a different path i have a calling on your life that does not require you to be connected in that way at this time when it is your time it will be your time and you will be in this flight on your way to wherever you're going on your honeymoon but until then i want you my dear to attain this higher knowledge, step into your calling and your purpose, start manifesting what you like, and then we'll go from there, okay? So we're not going to be in this Five of Swords energy competing and wanting to look a certain way because of what somebody else is doing. There's no more of that going on, okay? You are going to have this honeymoon when God says you're meant to, if you're in your purpose, Okay, God does not want us to rush out and find a boo thing simply to satisfy uh, feeling like you fit in or feeling like I got what everybody else has. I have this person on my arm. So what? Okay, <laughs> that's good for you. That doesn't mean I'm going to be jealous, but it just means that I'm not going to rush out and try to paint an image for the gram. Okay, so that everybody can see me with someone just to say that I'm with someone okay I need my con my commitment to be fulfilling God's purpose okay and that's just period so when that happens it's going to be when God steps in and gives this to me in the meantime I'm happy for all of those that are already in this stage it's a beautiful thing to come into union with the person that is meant for you if it's orchestrated by God oftentimes it's not but that's not my business if you're happy you happy and I'm happy for you I'll be over here getting this higher knowledge waiting for God to do what God is going to do in my life okay so overall this message is just about affirming this to yourself affirm that you are beautiful affirm that you are loved that you are in your divine purpose that you are destined for greatness that you are going to love yourself and love every cell in your body affirm that your sexuality your intimacy is sacred okay Affirm that you will allow the success of others to inspire you and not put you in an energy of jealousy or competition, okay? Affirm that you are not going to pour negativity into yourself or others, okay? This is all about affirmations and being comfortable with being uncomfortable. That doesn't mean that, you know, that little feeling you get in your stomach when somebody has something that you don't, that you desire, I'm, I've gotten past that i'm not perfect but i'm actively working past that i did not like feeling like that 
I didn't like feeling uh, instantly feeling like why not me or less than this is an uncomfortable conversation to talk about but I'm beyond that this is not wanting to be in an environment where somebody has something that you deem to be more than you because it makes you uncomfortable I encourage it now I'm not a person that wants to be no don't get me wrong now y'all I don't like to be around. <laughs> I don't like to be in certain environments. I just don't, because people are go- people are being people, and the energy is real. So I'm very protective of my energy, but I don't mind being in an environment where somebody uh, seems to have more uh, or be smarter than I am. Okay, I actually like it. A hierophant energy, somebody that's very well learned, very educated, okay, a scholar, somebody that has more uh, knowledge than I do. I look at this like, ooh, thank you, God, for putting me in this situation with this person. Let me see what I can learn. I'm going to soak up this, this information, this energy of this person that's well seasoned, well, not, you know, knowledgeable. Okay, well-rounded, has a lot more experience than me, okay? I'm not going to let this put me in this energy of burden and then I get into this lack mentality. No, I'm going to thank God because this person is going to teach me something, okay? And then I can take what I've learned and transmute it and use it for what I need to use it for so that I can be in a happy place, okay? Resourcefulness. (laughs) Let's get some guardian angel messages and now this is not going to happen overnight that's why they showed me the temperance card this is going to be something that you got to actively work towards you're going to be in a fight conflict with yourself especially when it comes to those hierophant energies thank you holy spirit the haughty cocky bougie okay the ones that i'm better than you type of energy that they they may have more knowledge than you they may have more than you in some capacity but they are ego based people they are driven by their ego therefore they their intention is to make you feel small god is going to take us to a point where we can even learn what they have to offer in a positive way um we filter okay let all that ego nonsense just fall through the filter okay keep only what is good and beneficial to you and keep it moving okay i i can learn from you too okay because there's people that are uh like that that want to like to hear themselves talk okay for example god has guided me to share my first years of college okay while I was learning a lot of new stuff, I felt important. I felt special. I'm like, oh, I'm this, I'm that. Feeling myself, okay? And then God had to humble me. Like, okay, uh, calm down. Yep, you're smart. You're getting it, but don't let it go to your head. So God had to humble me and start putting me in this hierophant energy around people that know a lot more. So I can be like, okay, let me calm down. I don't know it all. I'm I'm still learning. God had to humble me. So that is a part of the process. I'm being completely transparent so that y'all can see that I'm not exempt from what I talk about. I go through these things. I'm still going through a lot of these things. And I'm always going to be learning. Always. It's not going to be perfect. This spread is not going to be perfect. My delivery of the messages are not going to be perfect. But I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing in the way that I'm doing it in the way that God is guiding me to do it okay and know that everything's not going to be the same like you may have a favorite person that you watch readings or teachings with that person may be completely opposite from what you get over here you see how God works God will let you get this from there and that from there and put it all together and whatever you come up with you may come up with your own channel doing the same thing and you may put another twist on it that I didn't or that person didn't but all God wants us to come out with is if you are upright and trying to work for God and you answer the call 
it doesn't matter, okay? Because we are all trying to reach as many souls as we can for everyone to ascend. So I'm not mad. If you create a channel and you're on this channel, please slide me your channel. I will support you because that is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to all have the same objective, but a different approach. Okay? Do something a different way. Okay? I hope this message is coming through clear. So let's get an angel message and close this out. I hear, I heard somebody um, that I can clearly, I'm reading the energy, so I can clearly read that sometimes people feel the need to proclaim that they are at the very top of whatever industry they are in to affirm it to themselves, okay? Although, when your ego dies, you don't need to go around proclaiming that you're the best or you're at the top. When your ego truly dies, you allow it to, okay? You just operate in whatever energy that you're meant to be in but if you constantly feeling the need to say that and not say it to yourself but to others that is a clear indication that there are some insecurities and some ego uh part of the ego that needs to still die okay there's nothing wrong with being proud of yourself there's nothing wrong with saying i'm proud of myself but if you're constantly diminishing the value of everyone around you to, to proclaim that you are at the top, then a part of your ego is still, you're still operating out of the ego. And you're still very insecure. Which is something that we all have to work on. We've all been there, that one. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Prayer, always. Dear guardian angel, help me to believe that all is possible through love. Help me manifest my dreams and live an inspiring <laughs> and fulfilling life. Help me to feel God's presence in every moment. Help me feel eternally loved. Thank you for being always by my side. Okay. And this is what is going to require a lot of prayer. A lot of connecting with God, a lot of getting this higher knowledge from your spirit guides, God, your angels, through meditation and prayer. I did not want to go into this, but I'm being guided to. Okay, with this honeymoon energy here, there are a lot of people that are more concerned with how their relationships are perceived than they are about how they are treating themselves and how they are being treated in these connections. Painting an image that is not true. See the duality in these two cards? Somebody that's all the way on the bottom and somebody that's all the way on the top, okay? This is the, the putting on for the gram energy in this honeymoon stage. Everything's great. We're awesome. We're wonderful. And really, a lot of times, it looks more like this, okay? This is what God is wanting us to come out of. Let's not pretend that we're this or that. Let's be that, which means if we are in the Ten of Wands, okay, let's... Put these wands down, whatever these wands represent for you, okay? Insecurity, anxiety, depression, fear, doubt, loss, okay? Financial burdens, um, failed past relationships, stress, addiction, okay? Whatever they are for you, they're going to be different for everybody. How about we start putting these things down one by one as we put them down? Let's get some higher knowledge on each one of these things. And eventually we will drop all 10 and we will have 10 lessons that we have learned 
and we are really the hierophant, really knowledgeable, really have learned what we need to learn, and really are authentically standing in this, okay? So that was for somebody. All right, the last one, dreams. This is a wondrous time of healing and positive transformation. <laughs> Embrace life each moment and keep focused on your dreams. Retain the purity of your vision and you will draw success to you. All you ever wish for that which seemed a distant dream is about to manifest. Okay? When you really do the work, you can really manifest. When you really drop those burdens, work through everything you need to work through, you can really truly manifest because you can truly see yourself in this place. Okay? If you are faking and putting on and acting like you are there, you don't even feel the need to manifest, right? Because you're already there when you're really not. But you begin to manifest your reality, which is this Ten of Wands. So when we really do the work and know that it's time is an, is an illusion, okay? We're not on a clock here. We're not trying to beat Susie and Bill over here that are on their honeymoon that are in eternal bliss. <laughs> Susie and Bill, made up names, okay? Um, just using that for example, okay? But be you, insert name, whoever you are, okay? Worry about yourself, okay? Be happy for Susie and Bill. But know that Susie and Bill's story is Susie and Bill's story. Your story is your story, okay? Manifest what you want to see in your life and start working towards it. I love you, family. I really hope that this message helped you. If so, please hit the like button, share, subscribe, join the family. Until next time, peace and blessings. Ashe.